Hi, my name is Ariana Lovato, and I'm the owner and principal designer of Honeycomb Home Design, which is an interior design studio located in Shell Beach, California, and we specialize in kitchen and bath design. So I got my start in interior design very young. I, growing up, my best friend's mom was an interior designer and I would go home after school and I'd see all of her magazine clippings and samples and I would just get really excited over going over there every day. So I went to, right after high school, I went to the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising in Los Angeles for interior design. And so I completely immersed myself in the study of design and um, the way that spaces can make you feel was something I always paid attention to as a younger child. And so I knew that I wanted to do something with that. And um, after schooling, I moved back home, which is at Rio Grande, California. And I worked for my best friend's mom for um, several years as her assistant. And I also got my bachelor's in business because owning your own business is something that I had always wanted to do um, ever since I was little and so I knew to in order to do that I needed to have some business background as well as the knowledge of design and so I started Honeycomb Home Design now it's been almost four years on my own and have my own office space in Shell Beach and it's where we create we meet clients here and it's a space that's my own but I started off very differently and I'll tell you a little bit about that. So when I was, let's see, 25, I um, had been working in design. I'd worked for um, a couple different builders and, and another designer. And then I also got into product design a little bit. So I wanted to really understand what it's like working for a larger company and what it's like working for a smaller company before I went out on my own. And I got the opportunity to either start my own business or go back working part-time in the corporate world, which is what I was doing, and I really didn't enjoy it. And so with $400 in my account, I started my business, and it was really, really hard because I was working from home, and I had this enormous amount of pressure to make ends meet and also build a business after not saving for it. So. My number one word of advice to anyone that wants to start their own business, make sure you have at least three to six months of income saved so that you're not as strapped as I was when I first started. You'd save yourself a lot of stress. And uh, another big thing is just make sure that you partner with somebody that can be a mentor to you. So it's somebody in your profession or maybe they're not in your profession, but they understand business. You need somebody like that on your team because they will help you plan and analyze and track financially for the future. So, you know, you have to ask yourself, do you want to own your own design practice or do you want to work for somebody and do you want to focus on just more of the design? I will say that owning your own kitchen bath business or owning your own design business, you have to dedicate probably 70% of your time to business administrative tasks and maybe only 30% of the time you're designing and managing because there's just a lot more on your plate. So that's a big thing that you should really ask yourself. And you have to work for some people first to really understand, you know, what part of the business do you want to fit in with and go from there. Obviously interior design has always been a passion of mine growing up, but owning your own design business and doing this day in and day out definitely has its own challenges but it also has a lot of fulfillment and I would say the best thing when you walk into somebody's home and you see their face after you've completed their kitchen remodel or their bath remodel or helped them with their whole project, you really get that sense of fulfillment and oftentimes gratitude from the client because they really couldn't have done this without you and you've provided them a safe, functional, stylish, beautiful place for them and their family to enjoy from years to come. So that's really the best part of my job and that's what gets me excited every day to come to work and not only be surrounded by all these beautiful things, but also helping people really enjoy their home to the max capacity. So kitchen and bath design is such a specialty and even going to design school and, and getting your degrees in interior design is not enough to really understand the kitchen and bath 
industry codes um, that the NKVA has put out there. So I studied a little bit more and got my um, associate kitchen and bath design credential along with a cabinetry specialist micro credential from the NKVA. And that's really helped open my eyes to all of these additional codes and guidelines that you should really be aware of when you're planning kitchen and a bath. Those are the two most expensive parts of a home. They're the two places of the home you really don't wanna make any mistakes on because they just get very costly. So it's really important to know what you're doing and to feel comfortable designing these spaces for your clients. And so um, I urge you, if you haven't looked into their um, associate kitchen and bath design program, you definitely should prior to launching out on your own. And um, you know it's important because those codes and guidelines are changing and so we're always keeping on top of it and making sure that we're using the most current guidelines even the most current building codes which can change every single year so that's really important to stay in tune with and also continuing education units so we're required to maintain a certain amount of ceus every single year through the nkba to have to hold our credential and so we are constantly looking out for CEUs that we can sign up for. And, and beauty of it is a lot of it can be done online now, which is great. So there really is no excuse. And you also should be continually learning because that's ultimately going to make you a better designer and a better business owner. So we use several different programs within our practice. And the one that we use probably the most is 2020 and also Chief Architect. So 2020 is specifically a cabinetry based software and that's what we use to order all of our cabinetry and design out our kitchens. But we also use Chief Architect because they have beautiful virtual reality renderings that we share to our clients and that's part of every project that we do. We always include renderings because they really help the client see the space and understand what you're trying to do before any hammer swings. So it's super important to um, learn or know someone that can help you with these VR renderings so that you can provide those to your clients. So smart home technology has really come a long way and post COVID-19, we're gonna see a lot more of that happen a lot faster because there's a bigger need for it. And so you'll start to see a lot more voice control things using Alexa, like turning on your appliances using Alexa or even your faucet using Alexa. So that's really, really important and that's gonna be happening a lot more now. Um, also, you know, the automation of shades and um, automation of lights and music has also become really popular in the past few years and we have clients more and more asking about it. And it's something that you should really consider early on in your project because there has to be special wiring for it and having a closet dedicated to that type of equipment is important. And so it's definitely something to keep up on as we progress. There are many different careers in the kitchen and bath industry. And so obviously we specialize in design and I would recommend anybody that wants to be a designer to definitely get schooling on their own for an interior design degree. I think it's important to learn all of the principles of interior design, how to read plans, how to write plans, you know, drafting programs that you'll learn throughout the process. But also if you're gonna specialize in kitchen and bath design, doing one of the accreditation programs that NKBA offers is, would be huge. And it gives you so much more knowledge having it that you'll feel very comfortable working with clients. If you're wanting to work in a showroom or if you're wanting to start your own practice like we did, or um, if you wanna work for another design firm, those are all things that you have to ask yourself as you work through the curriculum and even as you gain experience. So I think it's really important to work for at least a couple different firms. Um, it's good if you can work for a larger one and a smaller one, just so you can see the different way that they interact and that they work. And you'll see kind of where you fit in and, and what you would like to be doing. Um, even not on the design front, even being a cabinetry installer or even a cabinet maker, or perhaps you want to get into countertop fabrication or tile backsplash. You know, there's so many things that, so many components within a kitchen and a bath that is really important to understand, but also that may be your specialty too. I'm Ariana Lovato and thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. And I just encourage you, if this is a passion of yours or even an interest of yours to explore it, 
make sure you get the education and experience that is needed to do some of these complicated projects like kitchens and bath design. And don't give up. I mean, it's such a rewarding career. There's a lot of fulfillment out of it. You get the creative fulfillment of designing something and you get to work with clients. And so there's its own stress, but also such a fulfilling career that we just love.